Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now I'm going to give you seven reasons or survival tips on how to achieve Inktober 2018. Now, if you don't know what Inktober is, Inktober is an amazing project started by Jake Parker. Jake Parker started this whole prompt, like challenge to draw 31 days of ink during October. So there's nothing fancy to it. You're just drawing 31 days of ink. And while I'm explaining these seven reasons why, here are some of my very, very first Inktober doodles. So as you can see, these are my very first ones that you're looking at now. So while you're looking at these doodles of my first Inktober, I'm going to explain to you those seven things why and how you can survive Inktober. Okay, number one is you get to work with ink. You don't have to be fancy. You can be as, it can be as minimalistic as you want. It could be just a ballpoint pen. It could be that you're just working on your lining. That is a huge thing. It's just that you could just be working on your lining on, if you're not a good liner or you wanna try to be a better liner, this is your month to do it. Challenge yourself 31 days to line your art pieces more because I see a lot of people especially my students that I work with they know how to sketch stuff out and then they color in their sketches but they don't line they're scared of lining so this is your best outlet for 31 days to practice on your lining by the time you get done with 31 days you're going to be a master at lining just by practicing every single day now the second reason why is you can sketch before you ink it is totally allowed if you follow jake parker on instagram or anything you can see that the creator himself sketches everything out before he goes in and inks everything and that's what i do too you can use a pencil or color erase pencils to go in sketch stuff and then ink it it's completely okay all right now number three is work with ink only I don't know about you guys, but I see it almost as cheating when somebody uses digital art with inking and they say, oh, but I used a pen one. And I'm like, that's not, when I see Inktober, I think of traditional art. That's like a big number one rule. It's like the only rule is that ink with traditional art, use a pen. <laughs> so, so that's just a big thing that I look at. All right, number four is, you don't have to follow a prompt list. It's okay, you can do whatever you want. I like to follow a prompt list and I follow Jake Parker's prompt list, but there are so many prompt lists out there that you can follow along with. But if you do follow a prompt list, take my advice and write down all those, that whole prompt list and look at the words that are kind of inspiring what to draw for the day. You don't have to do this at all, but it's just advice that you can look at those words and fill in the characters or what you want to draw that day. That way you have more of an actual jump start to when you start to ink for that day. So make sure you go ahead, write those out just to kind of, you know, be an overachiever and plan stuff out. It's always easy to plan and it just helps you not stress as much because if you look at it now the week before Inktober, then you'll be able to be like, oh, I need to brainstorm a little bit and check out to see what I can do for this following day because I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and number five is think of it as a strengthening yourself. You are strengthening yourself in ink. So like I said at the beginning, if you want to work on lining, then work on lining. But if you're crazy scared of maybe cross-hatching or working with a ballpoint pen, or maybe you're really, you want to get really good at brush tip pins and you're just like, I don't know, it's so scary. This is your outlet. Use it as a challenge. You're strengthening yourself and you're drawing at least once a day. My biggest thing is practice. Practice, 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 practice. Practice will be your biggest strength if you wanna get better at drawing. So 31 days of drawing, you're gonna tackle the whole practice thing. <laughs> you're gonna do great if you just practice, practice, practice. So think of it as strengthening yourself. Number six is if you skip a day, it's okay you're allowed to skip a day if you skip a day it's completely fine if you skip five days it's okay if you only do five days of inktober or if you only do one that's fine you saw my furry purse sketchbook i did what five sketches before i said okay i'm done yeah you know it's just if you don't have time it's all right but if you do at least one inktober doodle 
do it. If you have the time, do it. It's a lot of fun. And you can say, hey, I actually participated. <laughs> all right. And then number seven is very important. As you can see, all of these sketchbooks, they're sketchbooks. Get yourself a sketchbook and dedicate it to Inktober. And there you see it. The prompt list. So I wrote everything in the front and I wrote what I wanted to draw and I switched it and then I went in and I erased it. Blah, blah, blah. I just went in and I went crazy. So just get yourself a sketchbook and actually just dedicate it to Inktober only. So as you can see, these three sketchbooks, one's a Strathmore sketchbook, one was a moleskin, and this is an Illo sketchbook. So I've, there's three different types of sketchbooks and I'm actually missing a whole Inktober sketchbook. I have no idea where it is, but we just recently moved. So I think that maybe it's hiding out in our garage or something still in storage, who knows? But <laughs> anyways, get yourself a sketchbook and dedicate it to Inktober 2018. Even if it's, you can get a sketchbook from anywhere, and I have a video on where you can get sketchbooks, but it's really nice to have these sketchbooks. For, for example, for me, I'm looking at my sketchbooks from the previous years of Inktober, and I can already see, even though I've been drawing the whole year, I have improved so much. And I look at this, and this inspires me to go, I'm gonna do so much better this year. This is going to be my year, Inktober 2018. Let's get this started. <laughs> it's just inspiring to look back and say, I'm gonna actually do it this year. I'm gonna do Inktober. I'm gonna fill up a whole sketchbook and this is what I'm gonna look back on and say, I did it. I actually did it. I inked for 31 days. <laughs> but it should be something that helps you. But I hope this really helps, guys, and check in this coming week before Inktober actually starts. I'm going to show all my materials that I'm going to use for Inktober, so make sure you come back and check that out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope this helps, and I hope you all participate in Inktober 2018. Leave in the comments down below if you're excited! I hope you guys have a most wonderful day, and I will see you all later. Bye!